In this Direct Answers video, we're going to talk about what it means to be a beneficial owner under the Corporate Transparency Act. And this is really important because if you qualify as a beneficial owner of a reporting company, you're going to have to report your beneficial ownership information to FinCEN. So what exactly does it mean to be a beneficial owner anyway? Well, under the rule, it can be either one of two things. The first thing relates to ownership. A beneficial owner is someone who owns more than 25% of the ownership interests of the company. And this is usually calculated by who owns equity in the company. If you own stock in a corporation, membership interests in an LLC, or partnership interests in a limited partnership, and those interests are greater than 25%, then you'll automatically qualify as a beneficial owner under the Corporate Transparency Act. But this ownership interest can also be other things too. But to make things more complex, there are other interests that are taken into account when calculating this 25%. And these interests can include capital interest, profit interest, options, derivatives, convertible instruments, warrants, rights, or other privileges to acquire equity, capital, or other interests in the company. So pretty much, if you own more than 25% of the company, you're gonna have to report your information to FinCEN. And the second thing a beneficial owner can be relates to management of the company. And under this definition, a beneficial owner can be somebody who exercises substantial control over the company. And this substantial control is meant to be broad, and it can include a few things. The first is the most common. Someone has substantial control when they serve as a senior officer of the company. So for corporations, this can be the CEO or other officers. For an LLC, this could be the LLC's manager. And for limited partnerships, this could be the limited partnership's general partner. So for all three of these types of people, they'll qualify as having substantial control. And because they have substantial control, they're gonna to need to report their information to FinCEN. And because this substantial control is broad, it includes a few other things as well. The next thing is somebody who has the authority to appoint or remove a senior officer or a majority of the board of directors of the company. The next thing, is substantial control can apply to individuals who can direct, determine, or have substantial influence over important decisions made by the reporting company. So pretty much what this means in English is that this person plays a role in the decision-making process of the company. And lastly comes the catch-all provision, as is true with most new rules. And in this catch-all provision, substantial control can be control exercised in novel and less conventional ways. And an example of this can be the trustee of a trust. If there's a trustee of a trust and that trust owns an interest in a reporting company, then that trustee would need to report their information to FinCEN. But this control exercised in novel and less conventional ways can apply to other arrangements as well. So to sum this all up, if you either own more than 25% of an ownership interest in the company, or you exercise substantial control over the company, you're gonna need to report your beneficial ownership information to FinCEN. If you qualify as a beneficial owner, what must you report to them? Well, under the Corporate Transparency Act, there are four things that you need to report. Number one, your legal name. Number two, your date of birth. Number three, a residential or business street address, but they prefer a residential address. And number four, a unique identifying number from an unexpired US passport or driver's license. And this document must include an image of yourself as well as a document number that accompanies it. And I should also mention that if any of these things change, you're gonna need to report it to FinCEN. So if you get a new driver's license or passport, or you change residential addresses, you're gonna need to report this information to FinCEN within 30 days. Now I should also mention that there are five exceptions to the beneficial ownership requirement. 
And if you meet one of these five exceptions, you don't need to report your beneficial ownership information to FinCEN. The first exception is for a minor child. So if a minor child owns an interest in a company and they qualify as a beneficial owner, instead of reporting their information, a parent or legal guardian would report on their behalf. But I should also mention that when that child turns 18, they're gonna have to report their beneficial ownership information to FinCEN. The second exception is a nominee, intermediary, custodian, or agent. So in English, these types of people are people who act on behalf of others. And if you're somebody who acts on behalf of somebody else, you don't need to report your information to FinCEN. The third exception is an employee of the company. And if the employee is solely an employee of the company, and they only derive their benefits from their salary, meaning that they only have one source of income and they don't have any ownership interest in the company, then in that situation, they would not need to report their information to FinCEN. The fourth exception is for future inheritance rights. So for example, let's say that the parent were to gift a company interest to their kids. If those interests haven't vested yet, meaning that the parent hasn't died and the kids haven't inherited that interest, then those kids wouldn't need to report their information to FinCEN. But once they become owners of the company, then they're gonna need to report their information to FinCEN. And the last exception applies to creditors. So a creditor is somebody who's owed money. And this can either be a bank or somebody who wins a lawsuit. And if the creditor's sole interest is the repayment of a company debt, then that creditor will not need to report their information to FinCEN. However, if the creditor can convert that repayment into an ownership interest, then they will need to report their information to FinCEN. So that's what it means to be a beneficial owner under the Corporate Transparency Act. If you own more than 25% or you have substantial control, then you're gonna need to report your information to FinCEN unless you meet one of the exceptions. Hold on, I'm not done yet. If you're looking to start a business, click the link in the description below and schedule a free 15 minute consultation with us. Also make sure to check out the Corporate Direct website and subscribe to our newsletter where we'll send you a lot of good information on corporate law amongst other things. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any general questions about anything. I'll see you next time.